Okay, so I got four of the Midnight Solar uh, surge protectors. I got a, three of them are the 300s, and this is a 115. So I got these two for the combiner boxes. Uh, this one will go on the AC supply side. I'm going to get another one for the AC output. And this one will go to protect the DC side to the inverters. Probably going to get another two for my main uh, input supply power boxes to the house. All right, let's okay, get started. So here's my combiner box. Let's go ahead and turn these off. I still got power coming in here and here. Well, it's not a lot because it's about to rain. So I'm gonna, I could take out this side or this side. I'm gonna go ahead and take out this side. I have one of them here and one of them here. Okay, there's that. Now we got our 300 surge protector. Got a little gasket on here. Gonna run the wires through the hole. Just bring this up here like this. There we go. Start with the earth ground. We'll just run it right around to here. And this guy is gonna go over here. Okay, so we got our 300 surge protector connected to the positive, combined positive out, the combined negative, and the earth ground. There we go, on. All right, so now I got my LEDs top and bottom, top and bottom. This one's on, you can see that. Now let's test it. Boom. There we go. And on. Got our LEDs, LEDs, everybody's on. All right, that's it for the outside. Okay, next up, I got a couple more lightning arresters to install. I got the MNSPD 300 and the MNSPD 115 to install. The 300 will go on the AC input to the system. And the 115 will go on the 48 volt DC from the battery input. So, I've got to peel these two covers off and let's get started. So, I got my MN SPD 300 lightning arrestor on the side here and run. The green wire to earth ground, the red wire to L2, and the black wire to L1. On the input side, this should protect the input of the system from any surges coming down the line. Okay, so now I'm going to do the DC side. I want to protect the DC input from the battery. So this is actually hot, so I've got to be careful. Now what I really should do is get two of these and connect them right at the two inverters to protect the inverters. I only have one and I'm probably going to connect it here and here. So that might not be quite the best, but hopefully it's better than nothing. So let's get started. Start with AC 60 amps from the utility. Move that off for now. This is the output. And this will drive AC over to the two inputs and it'll turn on that that guy right there so here we go bam yeah well lit up I guess that's a good sign so now both lightning arresters are operational so there you go looks like things are operational they're both lit up and hopefully we've got this a little better protected now so that's it for this one thanks for watching we'll see you on the next one